why is the world's best internet service provider working in Nigeria but not in Ghana? Why is it that the best internet company in the world? I mean, the company will be say, before you even think of something to do on the internet, it has done it for you. That company is functioning in Nigeria. Nigerians are enjoying the best internet service in Africa. Nigeria are enjoying the best internet service in Africa. Thanks to the presence of this company we are talking about. But it's absent in Ghana. It's absent in South Africa. The only other African country that enjoy this quality of internet is Rwanda. <laughs> it's Rwanda. So my guys, within the sub, what's going on? Let us talk about it. Let's be realistic. Eh? Make we enter the matter one-on-one -on -one and we go diagnose them. We go come out with a disease within the sub. Which is a stopper from performing and functioning in Ghana and South Africa. Some time ago, I did a video and I was telling you guys that Starlink is already in Nigeria. Starlink is the best internet service provider in the entire world. Go and quote me anywhere. There is no internet service provider that is better than Starlink. As a matter of fact, you will not get Starlink. For Nigeria now, or Europe, or you know, that means your own internet. I don't understand what is wrong with you because the quality that Starlink has, oh boy, the quality of internet with Starlink. Ah, <laughs> uh, go and try it. So, Starlink has been in Nigeria, I think, more than a year now, even though it is expensive, but Nigerians can afford it. It is expensive and the money is worth it. Starlink has been in Nigeria for more than a year. Ever since Elon Musk launched the company Starlink. <coughs> Excuse me. Nigeria was one of the first countries that he introduced Starlink to. And so Starlink is rapidly growing in Nigeria and in Rwanda. But countries like Ghana and South Africa who claim claim <laughs> they just a claim to be the best countries in africa to be the top you know to be the ones that have it all unfortunately till now 2024 no starlink no good internet and many more and why i'm going to tell you guys why right now so the recent internet average that affected Ghana, Cameroon, and many other African countries came to expose the effect of the absence of Starlink in Nigeria, uh, in Ghana. And it also showed you guys the importance of Starlink in Nigeria. Because this so happened at a moment where there was a lot going on in the entertainment industry. Kai Senat was in Nigeria, and even though there was internet issue with the cable fibers in the sea, this guy could still vlog, go live, stream, and do many things because of the affordable and quality internet service that Starlink is providing. But when he landed in Ghana, that's when the Ghanaian government and their parliament started ringing a bell. Oh, something is wrong somewhere. Because he couldn't have access to internet the way he wants, and he had to leave prematurely. It's not like we don't have individuals in Ghana that have Starlink. Don't get me wrong. Even in Cameroon, we have some few companies, some few individuals that own Starlink. We have. But has Cameroon granted the license? Anybody that has Starlink in Cameroon is illegal. That is it. If you have Starlink internet service in Cameroon, that's everything you buy. Is illegal. If you have it in Ghana, is illegal. Go and check. Go and find out. Because the Ghanaian government has not granted, has not given, has not openly, 
has not authorized Starlink, has not given them a license to operate in Ghana. Starlink do not have a license to operate in Ghana. So anybody in Ghana that is using Starlink, maybe has the money, go and buy it from Nigeria and bring it and install in Ghana. Anybody doing that in Ghana, the government can arrest you. The Ghanaian government can arrest you. Because what you are doing is illegal. Starlink is not licensed to operate in Ghana. But why is the Ghanaian government not giving the go-ahead for Starlink to come and operate in Ghana? Why, they, why are you not giving Starlink the license? Probably because the government knows that Ghanaians cannot afford it. Probably because the government knows that they are not ready for that level of competition. Their economic standard is not ready for the level of competition that Starlink will bring. Because can you imagine that with Starlink in Nigeria, MTN and every other person is still surviving. Glow is still surviving. But I'm sure if Starlink enter Ghana, everywhere they're upset. Besides, can they afford? Because Starlink, to install Starlink, we are talking of, of at least, we are talking of $500 upwards. Maybe $1,000. No, we're talking about $1,000. Yeah, it should be like $1,500 upward. $1,500 upward. $2,000 upward to install Starlink. Just to buy it. And then the monthly subscription on Starlink. So Ghanaian government just studied that this thing will not go well with our people. Our people cannot afford it. And so the Ghanaian government has refused to give the license to Elon Musk to come and operate his Starlink. Yet they are not providing a better alternative. So in the Ghanaian parliament, one of their speakers had to address the issues. This 2024, this March, this month of March we just passed. The parliament had to, to sit and talk about it. And they even accepted finally that they will find a way to grant license to Starlink, to start operating in Ghana. They are just talking. We are not seeing any updates. So like I said, don't get me wrong. If you see anyone using Starlink in, in Ghana, the person is using it illegally. There is no license. And it's at the person's risk because the government can just come and hold you. But unlike Nigeria, Rwanda, they are enjoying better and good quality internet. I hope that Cameroon, Ghana, and South Africa can eventually get to that standard so they can also enjoy quality internet services. It is what it is. It's your boy, Aj Max, and I hope you enjoy watching this video. Smash the like button, smash the notification bell. Come back anytime you're free because there's always more important and amazing content for y'all. God bless y'all. Cheese!